Yo, 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 what is going on, my beautiful brothers and sisters, fellow radiators of love? My name is Jamal Pope, a.k.a. J. Phoenix, and welcome, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars, Venus, or if you're checking for your family or friends, or if you want to just hang out with the Virgos, what am I going to call it? I guess you guys are the virgins of the Zodiac, <laughs> the breadwinners, I don't know, <laughs> the, the bread makers of the Zodiac, right? Welcome to your tarot and oracle card reading for March 19th through the 25th of 2024. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful start to the week. Let's go ahead and hop into this reading for you, Virgo. Remember that first card is going to be the dominant vibration that you are bringing with you to this week. The second card is going to be a lot of the themes of this week, what you can expect to happen and some of the challenges of the week. That third card is going to be the overall solution. Also, have my astrology dice to provide a little bit more insight into what planet's going to have a lot of influence on you this week. And then, of course, that oracle card. So, the dominant vibration that you're bringing with you into this week is nostalgia. We got the six of dragonflies or the six of cups. A lot of nostalgia, not some nostalgia trips that Virgo is going to be bringing with them into this week. Maybe even some past relationships that come up. You know, maybe you're going to be talking with some friends and some family about different things that happened in the past and everything like that. It's going to be very reminiscent. And I think it kind of makes sense with the sun, of course, finishing up here in Pisces today on the day that I'm actually making this. And it'll be coming into Aries, right? So, yeah, there's definitely some nostalgia kicks here uh, for the Virgos that they're bringing into them with this this week, which, like I said, this is the vibration that you're bringing in with you. So it's like... This is kind of energy that you've been feeling over the last week in general, and you're kind of bringing that in. So at the end of Pisces, this whole review period, you know, for you, it's your seventh house, of course, too. So I wouldn't, like I said, you're, that's what you've been talking about. Like you've been talking to family, friends, and kind of just talking about the past. Nostalgia, things that have come up from your childhood and stuff like that, too. Um, that's what you're kind of bringing in with the week. So now when it comes to like some of the challenges for the week, some of the dominant themes of the week, what you expect to happen. I do have the Queen of Dragonflies in reverse, the Queen of Dragonflies or the Queen of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, this is definitely dealing with um, potentially people who are emotionally unavailable or this definitely be, – being that this is a queen, this is someone who has a position of power, so you could be dealing with the water sign, so you could be dealing with a – Cancer, or Scorpio, or a Pisces, probably more a Pisces. But because it's in reverse, this is someone who does not have control of their emotions. So you're going to have to learn how to navigate that kind of energy. Or maybe you yourself might have like some prominent water placements. But this is someone that has a pretty prominent role in your life that may be a little bit emotionally all over the place. And you're going to have to learn how to navigate that. So this could be you. It's going to be different situations, but you're going to have to kind of learn how to, you know, respond accordingly here to where it's not like, because you're just kind of like, like I said, you're bringing this energy of light and nostalgia in, and this queen of dragonflies in reverse, this could be someone that just kind of spills their guts to you, and I'm like, like, this is a, this is literally the energy of bitch don't kill my vibe. I'm like Virgos this week are gonna be like bitch don't kill my vibe, bitch don't kill my vibe. Like that's the whole vibration of Virgo this week. Um, now for the outcome, the solution to the week, <laughs> I have the two of bees upright, the two of swords. A bit of a stalemate kind of comes to the end of the week. Maybe a little bit of indecision for Virgo, which is kind of which is kind of interesting um, that you kind of come to this point. So maybe, you know, some of you guys may be feeling trapped by situation, which is probably why the whole nostalgia thing is so important for you this week. Or at the very late, or at the very least, the Six of Cups bringing into the week is kind of like those energies that do make you feel like you're a child, you know? Not in like not in a child as like throwing temper tantrums, but as a, like a child where you just you feel comfortable, you feel safe. Hopefully, you know, depending upon like your upbringing and stuff. But the two of swords it does bring about a. It's going to be sort of like a, a. Wait a minute, hold on. Before you move forward, take these things into consideration. There's like a. This is like troll energy. I feel like by the end of the week, we're going to kind of come to a troll. I mean, like, this makes sense. This is probably a lot to deal with that full moon lunar eclipse that's going to be happening in your second house, you know? So 
there's like I said, you're going to come to the end of the week and it's going to be like, oh, wait a minute, hold up, hold up. Are you sure? Are you sure that you want to move in this direction? Right? So that's the thing about this. Um, but Virgo, I'm not even gonna lie, Virgo's gonna be going throughout the week and like, oh my gosh, why is everyone trying to kill my vibe this week? And then come the end of the week, just when you think it's gonna be all good, bam, major troll. That's asking you, are you sure you want to cross this bridge? <laughs> now, I have the sun and the number three. So the sun and the number three. Now, three means that the energy may be a little bit more subtle this week. Now, it does shift from Pisces to Aries this week. So it's shifting from your seventh house to your eighth house, which does kind of make sense, um, you know, Virgo, um, being that this is happening, said it's in your eighth house. So it, the energy is going to be a little bit more sudden, a uh, subtle, a little bit more hidden. You know, I would be, this kind of gives me the energy of just, you know, kind of be on the lookout just for, you know, these sort of like energies that are kind of hiding in the shadows a little bit. You know, like I said, this, this is subtle energy. You may get the sense that someone's watching you, Virgo. You may get this, this could be hidden enemies as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, so just be on the lookout for that, you know, be on the lookout for that. Maybe even this two of bees is someone that is kind of watching from the shadows at the whole time. And then they kind of make themselves known with the full moon lunar eclipse. Um, but yeah, this, cause like I said, of course the sun is involved with uh, the full moon lunar eclipse. So it's like the energy is like subtle, 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 subtle. People are kind of throwing your vibe off here and there. People are killing your vibe here and there. And then you get to the end of the week and it's almost like that person reveals himself. You know, that person reveals himself. Now for your Oracle card, Virgo, I have... I have the card of transition. It's one of the more intense cards of this particular Oracle deck. Transition. The frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence and our lives so that we can learn to let go, surrender to the process, and allow transition to occur with ease and grace. Yeah, you're kind of coming into the week, maybe clambering to the past a little bit. And there are going to be situations that come up throughout the week that are going to challenge you emotionally and may even throw your vibe off a little bit. And then you're going to come to a bit of a crossroads on probably whether or not you want to go back to just trying to clamber to the past or whether you are ready to transition into the future. Um, that sun here with the three, like I said, it's going to be subtle throughout the week, but then it's going to grow in its potency to what's going to be a eclipse that happens at five degrees. So even though I pulled the, I pulled three, it's pretty close to that to the degree that's going to be. So for Virgo, this is going to be a lesson in learning how to let go and let God. And, you know, yeah, sometimes your vibe gets killed, but there's no need to really blow up on people this week. Kind of just go with the flow as best as you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this is pretty gnarly for the Virgos. I feel like Virgos are going to be frustrated throughout this week. I'm not going to lie, y'all going to be frustrated, but I think the universe is just showing you that things are shifting, things are morphing. You are mutable Earth, but out of the mutable signs, you are probably one of the most stubborn of the mutable signs. So that's because it's Earth. So it's a little bit harder for you to change because you like your routine. You like your routine. You like things going a certain way. But sometimes routine changes. Sometimes it moves, it shifts. And I think it's about learning how to kind of go with the flow. And if your routine shifts this week and you have to kind of change your strategy and the way that you approach things in your day-to-day -day life, then so be it. It's about learning how to go with that flow. That's going to do it for your tarot and oracle card reading this week, Virgo. I hope that you all enjoyed it. I hope that it assists you on your journey this week. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I definitely appreciate it. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, beloved, you can follow the link in the description below to my website, jphoenix.com. And as always, y'all take care. Stay blessed. Have a wonderful week, Virgo. I will see you all on the next Tarot and Oracle card reading for next week. Peace out.